Welcome back to Take Two. Ooh, we are cooking up some delicious food today. We're talking all things Hispanic Festival. You guys, a fun festival is coming up, and it's going to feature not only great culture, but also amazing food. Here with all the details, we have Judah Oshner, MC and DJ coordinator for the Hispanic Street Festival, and Chef Q and Chef Fab, owner of Tasty Creole. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so. Before we talk about the festival, what do we have going on here? We have right here, we've got some fried plantains cooking. You want to explain it a little bit? Some fried plantains. We have um, grillo, fried pork, and we'll have some, later on, we'll have some pickles to go over that. Mm -hmm. When you say Haitian food, that's normally the first thing that pops into people's minds is uh, grillo and banan pezi. Okay, and Haitian food, because again, this is a Hispanic festival. Is Haiti technically Hispanic related? Well, it, it is part of Latin America, yeah. and the food is very similar. It's, we use all the same produce and um, spices, just prepared differently. Okay, I love that. Okay, so tell us all about the event. What is the Hispanic Cultural Street Food Festival? Well, basically, it's a celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month uh, that happens every year. I think we've been doing this for a little over 25 years now. And uh, it's basically food. It's basically music, which is like the Latino culture all the way through. And um, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of entertainment all day long. And it's going to be happening over there uh, at uh, New Wano and Pauahi Streets in, in downtown. We also got um, yes. this Latino Hawaii over there that's also going to be there. So uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be there. Don Gato uh, from Sacramento, one of, the, one of the Latino bands there, one of the headliners. It's going to be an awesome event. A lot of, lot of, lot of music all day long. Wonderful. Oh, so how big is the Hispanic community here in Hawaii? And, and I hear they're really banding together to put this event on. Yeah, I mean, you know, here in, we, we're about, what, 100,000, I think, you know, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Mexicans, so we have quite a bit of, of the Hispanic culture here in Hawaii, and there's even people that are not really Hispanic, but love the culture, love the food, love the music. Okay, wonderful. All right, and of course, your guys' restaurant is going to be one of the featured vendors there. So, is this the dish that you're going to be making the night of? This is absolutely one of the dishes. Okay, that we'll one be of. Yes. And this is very famous in Spanish culture, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, mm -hmm. Haitians. <laughs> we all cook. The, we love this. Some mm -hmm. of us call this. Tostones, tostones, tostones. Oh, platanos. Yes. We call it banan pese <laughs> for all the Haitians out here. Sac passe, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. So, so what have you done? Is, is it just smashed? Did you batter it, or is it just smashed and fried? Nope. Green plantains. We just peel the skin uh -huh. off, um, cut it up into the small pieces here, and then we fry it the first time so that when we smash it, it's fully cooked and it doesn't ah. fall apart. And then um, after that, we take it out. Spread some salt on there and it's ready to go. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> and I have to say, this is definitely one of my favorites. I've never tried to make it myself, though, so good to have known to try it first. Yes. Mine would have been a mess. Okay, so so how does how does the festival work? It's free to get in, correct? Yeah, it's free okay. for the fam. It's a family-friendly event, and it's from 10, um, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, during the day, so it's like, you know, nobody has to go to sleep. So just make sure you guys come down and celebrate. It's gonna be awesome. I love it. Okay, so make sure you head on out. Again, this is the Hispanic Heritage Street Festival this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Downtown Chinatown. Again, this is gonna be on New Uanu Avenue and Pauahu Street. Make sure you head on out. And as you can see, oh, we have some delicious food cooking up here, but you guys, you can get this this weekend. Now, we're actually gonna be finishing up this dish in the next segment and talking a bit more about the festival. So you guys are joining us once again, right? Of Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. All right, we'll get you back. All right. Once again, we're talking all things Hispanic Street Festival. We're joined once again by Judah Oshner and Chef Q and Fab from Tasty Creole. Good morning, you guys. All right. Good morning. Okay, so we've done something a little bit more now. So we took out the plantains. Yes, the plantains are all done. Right okay. now, we just um, put the pork in the oil. Since it's a process, we kind of prepped it. Okay. Um, right here, this is like the base of all Haitian cooking. Ooh. It's uh, a <laughs> parsley, green onions, and a couple secret ingredients. Uh, we prep the meat with and marinate. Most uh, the meat is usually marinated at least 12, but normally 24 hours wow. ahead of time. So you get that full flavor and you know that kick. And does this have a name? This marinade. Epis, Haitian epis. Okay, <laughs> so so you marinated that. We cook up the pork, and then once you're done, you said you typically plate it with what? Uh, typically, it's the pork, plantains, and then you can't have pork and plantains without pickles. 
Definitely uh, not. Pickles is uh, a spicy slaw. Uh, it's cabbage, carrots, uh, some scotch bonnet, and uh, vinegar. It gives you, you know, that acidity and um, that kick. To, to go along with the plantains and the pork. Oh, okay. This all smells so good. It's so distracting with this pork cooking next to me. But we have also other great distracting dishes. What else are we looking at here? So another major staple in the Caribbean and Latino Hispanic culture is rice and beans. You can't go wrong without rice and beans mm -hmm. as a, as a sign, aside. Um, we also have right here is our famous steak and cheese uh, bunnen burger. Uh, so instead of uh, bread, we use the plantains as the buns. Oh, I like that. And so it's just it basically how you made the last ones, right? You just kind of smashed exactly. down a larger bigger, piece. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, um, awesome. But we also have a veggie burger, a tuna burger, same thing. Just um, we use the plantains as the buns. Okay, and are all of these going to be at the Hispanic Festival? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. You guys are banging the heat. Yeah. Okay, and what's this last one? These are patties, Haitian patties. Uh, these ones, I believe, are steak and cheese. We oh. also make chicken, salmon. Fish. Fish. Uh, what else? Shrimp. Uh, shrimp, beef. Wow. We have a variety. You have it all. Yeah. Okay, wait. So you're telling me there's steak and cheese in there? Steak yes. and cheese. <laughs> do you, can I? Do you mind if I Absolutely. open it? Absolutely. Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna open this up, and I actually I'm gonna have to take a bite too. Woo! Look at how beautiful. Look at flaky, crispy. Ooh, you gotta teach me how to make this one as well. All right. I'm gonna take a bite. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> wow. The meat is so flavorful too. Yes. Again, that mm. that uh, that's that secret. Oh, it's light, it's buttery, it's flaky, it's delicious. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so while I take another bite and keep eating this, again, remind us what are the details on this festival? How can we come on out? And we don't need tickets, right? No, you don't need tickets. It's uh -huh. a free event. It's a family uh, family friendly event. There's gonna be entertainment. There's gonna be mm. um, music. Dancing, um, oh, yeah. food, food trucks, food, food vendors. trucks, food vendors. There's going to be all kinds of stuff happening. That's going to be 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, October 13th, downtown Chinatown, New Wano Avenue on Pa'ahi Street, and it's free. And free. it's free. Okay, well, I am 100% going to be there, you guys. <laughs> I was already convinced when I heard the title of this, yeah. but when I tasted this food, for sure. Okay, what were we going to say? I definitely, just wanted to go back again and say definitely bring all the family down. Yes. It's a family fun, friendly event. Uh, everyone come down and have a great time. We're expecting a great turnout. Uh, there'll be other ve food vendors there as well. Tin Hut Barbecue, Aloha Gourmet, The yeah. Streets, plenty of other vendors. Please come out. All right, definitely. Thanks so much, you guys. All right, and I'm going to try what we just <laughs> made as well. You, you asked me it if, it was, if I can handle spicy, there which you I go. can, Here we so go. I'm ready. Mmm, oh yeah. That's not too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> we can pile that on. Oh, okay, let's get more. All, All right, right, I'm going to eat more of this coming up, but you guys, you can get a taste too. Make sure you head on out this Saturday, celebrating Hispanic Heritage downtown. Make sure you check it out.